Hello everyone, this is a video on how to change the LCD panel. Uh, as you can see on this one it's been uh, quite substantially damaged. On this HP 250G6 laptop or notebook computer, otherwise known as part number or model number 1WY97EA and then in the UK I think they've got a uh, hashtag or a hash ABU on the end. So thankfully these HPs are fairly easy they don't have any screws around the screen and no uh, hidden screw covers or anything you literally just have to get your fingernails underneath the edge of the screen or um, a spudger or something and just gently wiggle about until the clips around the edge of the screen come undone just be careful that you don't put too much uh, bend on the bits which are still clipped in um, because you could crack this uh, plastic bezel. Gets more complicated when you get down to this bottom bit. Just need to be uh, gentle to make sure you don't crack stuff, but eventually you will de glue, it sounds like, down the bottom here. And unclip the entire thing. So it's basically patience and um, and slow progress. I think down this bottom bit, I may it may be easier using a spudger. Like we're almost there. So once it felt like it was all unclipped along this bottom bit here, I've then had to just pull this plastic bezel up out of uh, down by where the hinges are. So that's this. Uh, plastic bit off. I guess if you break it, let's see if there are any identifying marks on it. Nothing obvious that looks like a really clear model number. Possibly uh, this. Although I'm sure if you just Google or, or eBay for the model number of the machine you'll find it anyway. So that is the front bezel removed. There's now four screws, or possibly more because it looks like they've uh, slid, at least on the way that this one's been built, they've slid uh, the top brackets through or underneath another set of brackets at the top there. Oops, wrong screw. Right. Yeah, so we will need to undo six uh, screws because of this uh, being underneath the top bracket and there being a little plastic tab there and there, which will prevent you just pulling it out from that location. So that's the six screws undone. I should now be able to move this away from the uh, back of the machine. Get that bracket behind it, and that bracket behind it, and there we go, and the panel is now free. I uh, probably should turn the machine off at this stage because there's no need for it to be on. Uh, 
and undo the tape that holds the connector down. So start that off hopefully. And then gently pull that up. And now I should be able to lift the screen and very gently going that direction pull the um, video cable out. There we go. So the screen, if you want to know what replacement to buy, if it will focus, there we go, it is probably this NT156, so 15.6 FHM-N41 screen. I would look on eBay for that, make sure that the connector is in the right place, possibly count the number of pins on the connector, but that will get quite tedious quite quickly, but just to be sure if you want to. There we go, so I will resume this video once I have a replacement panel, and uh, we'll fit it in, and close the machine back up, put the bezel back on. Okay, the screen has arrived, it's now time to put it into the machine. Okay, important things first, always check your newly arrived display for damage. I've had displays arrive in plastic bags with just a bit of bubble wrap. Um, I've had displays in fairly substan substantial boxes like this uh, which have somehow been damaged. So for example, um, this end here, this bit of bubble wrap has either popped or has dropped down and then the screen has gone straight against the edge of the box and has just smashed. So uh, whenever you get the new screen, this one's actually incredibly well packed with this bit of foam on it as well as all this bubble wrap. When you get the new screen, just visually inspect it for any warping or damage or cracks that you can see, uh, whether the screen's bent or other things like that. This one looks absolutely fine, so I'm good to move the old screen out of the way. And that can go to the electronics recycling in the sky. And Probably using this and the little foam pad it comes with, I'll rest it on that to plug the lead, the video lead back into this monitor. Okay, there we go, clicked in on the, the side to the right and clicked in on the side to the left as well. That was uh, Usually those go in a lot easier. That one seemed to be more of a problem. So just uh, make sure that when you do plug it in, it's securely connected. So remembering that when I took it to bits, the bracket here was in front of the monitor's bracket. Right, that's that one done. and. There we go, that's that one done. So hopefully I, that one's already in its little notch there. And over this side, I need to lift this side up and drop that into its notch over there. And time to screw it back into place.
this metal bracket isn't sitting down into its little plastic guide. Why might that be? Okay, so it just needed lifting up a little bit. Right, and then the final one, so that's two screws up here, which is the screen and the bracket, uh, and the screen and the bracket over here, so I'm just about to do that final bracket one. And then at the bottom, just the ones which hold the screen in, there and there, back in. And before I put the bezel on, it's going to make sure that the screen hasn't been smashed and uh, still works. Looks pretty good to me. So there's, you can see this R5 or some other symbol over here, which is part of this protective layer. So that's going to be difficult to take off once the bezel's on, so we do need to take that off now. Some people may say this is quite satisfying. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then onto the screen bezel. So I'm going to start by trying to get this as low down down here as I can, because it needs to live. down the side of the machine. Might need a bit of experimenting with opening and closing the laptop to vary and yeah, okay there we go. With the laptop as open as you can make it, you can then push the uh, screen bezel as low down as you can. So now I'm going to start at the top, this should just click into place. and go down the sides. And then the difficult bit will be along the bottom here because you'll have less uh, to, to grab against or push against. So I'm going to just lift the laptop up and I can get to it easier from both sides. So what I'm doing is I've got my, my hand over here and basically pushing together all the way down on both sides of the screen, at the back and at the front. And I'm just going to go around the edge, finding any other clips that I've failed to do up. There's another one here. Another one there. Another one there. And I'm just going to have a look at the back of the laptop. Can't really see much down there, but it doesn't look like there's anything that's horrendously uh, not clipped in. Okay, I have uh, managed to break a bit of plastic, which is almost inevitable with these ones which are only held in with plastic clips rather than screws. And the good news is, is there's so many plastic clips around it, the edge uh, breaking one or two shouldn't be an issue. If you break the whole lot, you're in for some trouble. So there we go, I'm just going to reboot it, hopefully it'll go into Windows and to the log on screen and hopefully it will look lovely and no longer be smashed. Brilliant, there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers do really help. Thank you very much.